In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Supabase to N8N. Connecting N8N to Supabase is a little bit more complex than it may seem because there are actually two different nodes you need to connect in order to make sure Supabase is working properly. One of them is the Supabase node and the other one is the Postgres node. I'm going to walk you through both so you can see exactly how it's done. To begin, log into your Supabase account. Once you are logged in, look over on the left-hand side and click on Project Settings. From there, choose API Keys and then reveal the service role key. Copy that key and head back over to N8N. Inside N8N, add a Supabase node and create a new credential. Paste the service role secret into the field provided. Next, we'll need the host. To find it, go back over to Supabase and click on Connect at the top, then click View Parameters. Copy the host string but make sure to change it slightly. Instead of starting with DB, you'll replace that with HTTPS. After you've made that adjustment, go back into N8N, paste it in, and save. At this point, you should see that it is connected successfully. Now let's move on to connecting Postgres. Go to your project dashboard. At the top, click on Connect, then scroll down to the Transaction Pooler section. Here you'll see the connection parameters you need, host, port, database name, and user. These details are required to link your database with N8N. Copy all of this information, then head over to your N8N workspace. Inside N8N, open your workflow and click the plus button to add a new node. In the search bar, type Postgres, select it from the list, and it will be added to your workflow. Once the Postgres node is in place, click on Credentials, choose Create New Credential, and then enter your database details to set up the connection. When setting up a new credential, paste the host, port, database, and user values into the correct fields. Make sure that SSL is enabled as this secures the connection between N8N and your database. You'll also need to enter your database password. If you're using Supabase, this is the password you created when setting up your account. If you've forgotten it or want to update it, you can reset it in Supabase by navigating to Settings then Database and then Reset Database Password. After entering all the required fields, click Connect. If the details are correct, N8N will establish a secure connection to your Postgres database. Once connected, the Postgres node can be used to query data, insert new records, or integrate database events into your workflows. That's all you need to do to get both Supabase and Postgres connected to N8N.